Welcome. So what do you need to know for solving trigonometric equations? Um, if you haven't already visited uh, my course for simplifying trigonometric expressions, I would highly recommend that if you don't have a solid footing in how to simplify trigonometric e um, expressions. But even before that, you really need to have a solid footing in your, of course, our six trigonometric uh, functions, sine, cosine, tangent, as well as the reciprocals of cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Now, when learning our functions, we usually start with the right triangle. But for solving trigonometric equations, it's really important for you to know that how do those functions relate to um, our points on the unit circle? How can we evaluate them? And how also, how can we find the inverse of each of those unit of each of those six trigonometric functions in terms of their inverse on the unit circle? And as well as how do we evaluate for them uh, as far as what their graph looks like, as well as their inverse graph? And we're going to be using that that information as we solve our trigonometric equations in our solution set. And it's very helpful to kind of have that connections before you start solving trigonometric equations. Because then once you get to the solution set, you might be like, well, why is that true? How is that connecting? So it's really important for you to have an idea of what the graphs look like, as well as how can we evaluate and do the inverse for our trigonometric functions by applying the unit circle. Uh, the next thing is that kind of comes through the simplifying the um, equations. We're not only just going to be working with equations that are going to be easy to solve. We're going to have ones that you're going to have to simplify. You're going to have to work on the left side. You're going to have to work on the right side. So it's very important for you to know how to simplify your trigonometric expressions as well as kind of verify. But we're going to be working on both sides of the equations. You're going to have to remember how to factor. You're going to have to add, remember how to add, subtract, multiply, divide terms, and then simplify them by applying our identities. You're going to have to know how to simplify, um, add, subtract, multiply, divide, rational expressions, and then also to simplify them by using your trigonometric identities. So there's a lot that you're going to need to know that's really going to give you a good footing uh, once we kind of get started into our tips and tricks and our processes for you to apply in your examples. But ladies and gentlemen, that's kind of the basics of what you need to know. Let's go and get started. Thanks.